How does a machine see the world? Moreover, how does your robot partner see you? Now change your position and keep thinking in the reverse way. If you place yourself in the place of a humanoid robot, how will you see the world? Well, in this deep dive, we will talk about it, try to understand it, and above all, feel the whole experience as a robot. So let's start with vision. No, I mean, how does it really see it? We toss around terms like computer vision. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. But what does that tangle of code and silicon actually perceive when it looks at your living room? Is it seeing a couch, a beloved family heirloom, a comfortable spot for a nap? Or is it just seeing data? Let's imagine you're in a pitch black room with a magical pen that only draws dots of light. You can't see surfaces, only corners, edges, and points of interest. You tap the corner of a table, the tip of a lampshade, the intersection of the floor and the wall. Soon, you'd have a ghostly constellation of points hanging in the darkness. Could you navigate the room using only this star chart of your own making? This, in essence, is the heart of feature detection for a humanoid robot. The robot's camera is flooded with pixels, a chaotic mess of light and shadow, just like our own eyes. Its software, the perception and world modeling layer, acts as a filter for this chaos. It isn't looking for a chair, not at first. It's looking for things that are mathematically interesting and repeatable. It hunts for corners, blobs, and edges with high contrast, points that it can reliably find again in the next frame and the next and the next. These are its key points. It's glowing dots in the dark. Each dot isn't just a location. It's given a unique description, a sort of mathematical fingerprint based on the pixels around it. This way, the corner of your coffee table looks like the corner of your coffee table, even if the robot shuffles two feet to the left. Why go through all this trouble to turn a rich, vibrant world into a sparse game of connect the dots? Because from this minimalist sketch, the entire universe can be built. By tracking how these dots move from one moment to the next, the robot deduces its own motion. This is the magic behind a technology called SLAM, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. It's the robot asking, Based on how my constellation of dots just shifted, where am I? And what does the map of the stars look like? It's building its world model and placing itself within it all at the same time. We see this in action every day. When Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot does a backflip or navigates a construction site, it's not just running a pre-programmed routine. It is constantly updating its sparse map of the world identifying stable features to place its feet and unstable ones to avoid. But does this mean the robot understands the world? Here lies the beautiful, and perhaps terrifying, debate. The argument for this approach is its sheer robustness. Is pure geometry, a universal language that doesn't care if it's in a factory in Munich or a kitchen in Mumbai, is computationally efficient and Frankly, it works astonishingly well. The argument against, however, is that it's incredibly brittle. What happens when the lighting changes dramatically, or a feature is obscured? What if the robot builds a perfect geometric map of a room but misidentifies your sleeping dog as a stable, inanimate rug? The model is logical, but it lacks context. 
It has sight, but no insight. This is where the next inevitable wave of invention is crashing ashore. Researchers are no longer satisfied with just a geometric skeleton of the world. They are using AI, specifically technologies like neural radiance fields or NERFs, which you might have seen in NVIDIA's latest research demos. Instead of just plotting points, NERFs allow a robot to build a full, dense 3D model of a scene from a handful of 2D pictures. Think of it as moving from a connect-the-dots puzzle to a photorealistic sculpture. Suddenly, the robot isn't just seeing key points. It's learning to infer the entire shape, texture, and appearance of the objects around it. Does this bring us closer to true understanding? Perhaps. When Tesla's Optimus robot is being trained, it's not just learning geometry. It's being fed oceans of video data to associate patterns of pixels with labels like human, obstacle, or tool. It's trying to bridge the gap between the what, a collection of points and surfaces, and the so what, the meaning and function of those things. But this raises an even more profound question. As we give robots a richer, more human-like perception of the world, are we also giving them our biases? If a robot learns from data scraped from the internet, will it learn our stereotypes and prejudices along with our physics and object recognition? Will its world model be a pristine, objective reality, or will it be a flawed reflection of our own? Ultimately, the quest to build a seeing robot is not just an engineering challenge. It is a philosophical one. In teaching a machine to perceive, we are forced to confront how we, ourselves, construct reality from the chaotic stream of photons hitting our retinas. Is our own perception just a far more sophisticated game of connect the dots, layered with a lifetime of context and memory? And as these humanoid machines begin to walk among us, seeing and modeling our world alongside us, will we be ready for the answers they find? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.